Hey everyone, it's Nona again from TheAlliancelover.com. Welcome back to my channel. I have another athletic wear video for you today. We are looking at some outfits that are appropriate for the dramatic classics. So I wanted to start off this video with actual examples of dramatic classics, just so it's easier for you to visualize these items on real people. So our first example is Zoe Saldana. And you might know her from her action movie roles. That's what I associate her with. So please keep that in mind as we look at these outfits because that seems to be a big theme for dramatic classic gym wear. Another example is Olivia Wilde. You'll see that I have included a photo of her from Tron. It is also piggybacking off of that kind of futuristic and action movie type gym wear, which I believe dramatic classics can pull off really well, especially if they tone it down a bit. It's still really practical and comfortable, and it's a very confident look. And here are just two more examples. We have Olivia Palermo and Diane Kruger. So my first slide features a favorite piece for dramatic classics, and that is a very simple but sleek top or a pair of leggings with an angular or asymmetric detail. In these two cases, it's both. So here with this top, we have this angular asymmetric cutout. And here on the leggings, there's a mesh kind of overlay that creates a cool design. So this design just makes your look so much more modern and futuristic while staying sleek and very practical. It's very, very simple. All it is is a cutout or a tiny bit of extra fabric layered onto a very simple piece, but the impact it has, I think, is quite tremendous. So if you're very bored with very simple gym wear, try to look for small little details like this that do lean on the more yang or masculine side. I would say if you want a small detail for yin, kind of energy or look you'd add in the little ruffles or the bows or the more delicate kind of ties that you've seen in the romantic or theatrical romantic videos but if you want something totally opposite these little slashes or cutouts that are very decisive and clean are a great way to add a little bit of visual interest so this side just takes the first side to the next level Futuristic cutouts with lots of bold cuts or shapes are another great option for the dramatic classic. It adds an extra layer of that streamlined yang and that dynamic energy. So here we have this x shape cutout on top with these cool panels. And here we have a very simple cutout on the side with this really fun almost semi-mandarin collar. So both these shapes are really great for the dramatic classic, especially for showing off the tops of the shoulders or the torso if you want to make sure that line is very prominent in your outfit. These are really great ways to do that. So these next two options are much softer than the first two but they're still quite decisive and they're quite streamlined. So using stitch down detailing, you can create a lot of impacts in your outfit with just a little bit of that extra stitching. I think the dramatic classic can amplify a lot of details, so it doesn't take a lot for them to really bloom or make a big theme. So, just these little extra threads can create a kaleidoscope of different looks. So here we have a nice leotard or one piece style look with some more curvature in the actual stitching. And here is a two piece with much more linear stitching. So just imagine what this would look like without it. It makes a huge difference. So if you're looking for tiny, tiny ways, you can do that. and. You know, if you want to try it out yourself, uh, I think it's a good beginner sewing project. So this next slide is slightly nuanced. You'll see I wrote strategic, slightly baggy fit. And by baggy, I just mean the 
fabric tends to bag or pile onto itself. It's not a baggy as an oversized or huge, but there is an air of excess fabric to it that offers a bit more movement. So it's not as streamlined and sleek, but it's still quite modern and it's still quite young. It's not the drapey, flowy kind of excess fabric. It's still quite clingy and tight to the body or well-defined. It just adds that little bit of detail. So here we have a slightly baggy or slightly larger sweater with great definition still all throughout, especially with this accent of the color blocking. And you'll see the themes, the colors and the finish of the entire outfit are very much in line with that modern futuristic theme. The stripe down the side, the sheen of the pants, the kind of stony or metallic finish of the sweater. If you combine these different finishes, you'll create an outfit that looks more modern and more sleek without being dainty or delicate. And this outfit on the right is another great example of that. It's more matte, but just adding on these different finishes and textures, the detail of the mesh side stripe, it's a really great way of looking, I would say more tough <laughs> or confident without looking girly or without sacrificing a more slim fit. And I think these high top kind of sneakers are a really great way to go beyond the normal running sneakers um, if you want to explore that. So here is a very related theme to the last slide and we have a slightly boxy fit. By boxy fit, I mean a piece of garment that has its shape, has a bit of a an angular nature to it so that when you wear it, it holds up. It holds up its structure so your curves don't dictate 100% how the fabric will lay on you. It also holds up against you. And the best way to do that for the dramatic classic in terms of these more practical and comfortable pieces for the gym is to pick something fitted but slightly boxy. So we have good definition, good structure, but the cut is slim, it's cropped, it's shorter. So it's a great way to really outline your upper body, especially if you have really beautiful wider shoulders and a smaller or streamlined waist. So this next slide is just about keeping bulk at bay. You can do so much and create so much visual variety with very low volume details. Just like here with this pair of jogger leggings, the little slight stitching down the side and the wider waistband makes it look more put together than something that would be more voluminous and round without the stitch down the bottom or the sides. And here we have this leotard with these tiny little cutouts, these round cutouts all throughout that just give it such an interesting finish. It transforms a very, very simple kind of leotard or bodysuit into something that looks much more thematic, even costumey in a good way, but I still think you could wear it to the gym if you're confident enough or to any of your workouts. Obviously, gyms are closed right now. And lastly, here are just some tennis dresses that feature some sleek little details. This asymmetrical hemline here with this relatively simple but very sleek top. And here, this lovely collar, this nice zip detail, and these fun little angular slashes down the sides. All these tiny details really, really add up. So I know that was repetitive, but sometimes it takes repetition to really hone in on one specific theme, which is what I was going for in this video. There's so many different variations of a dramatic classic appropriate gym or workout outfit. And I really wanted to focus on this particular aesthetic and how simple it is to create with tiny 
little details that make such a huge difference. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you're dramatic, classic, and wear things like this, I'd love to know. Bye.